When Cabo puts out a new scooter, you know it's got to be good. Oh, don't fall. I mean, we're talking about one of the biggest brands in electric scooters. This is the Mantis X Plus, and they've made some upgrades and done some things that are good. They're very good. Cabo says they have their best suspension in the Mantis series on this guy. Let's take a closer look. So of course it's dual, right? Spring in the front, spring in the rear. You can adjust it down here. It's kind of hard to see that with the right tool. This is the piece that I want to talk about. As you rotate this, you can hear it click. You got 15 different levels. Rebound, slow, and fast. This is slow, set to the front and back, and... Oh, okay. That is very slow. Now let's see what a fast rebound looks like. Oh. And that is night and day difference. I've been riding this for about a week and this has got some of the best suspension I've felt in a $1,300 scooter. And I also have a coupon code that you can use to save you hundred bucks. I'll have that all in the description. While I'm still standing here, I wanna show you the LCD screen. When it turns on, it displays NFC and you will need one of these. Two of these come with it. Just top of the screen, unlocks it. That is a four inch screen. It's color, it rotates. These buttons change the speed mode. Two, three, four, five modes. I wanna show you a feature I've never seen on a scooter before. There's a P. The capital B and that rhymes with P and that stands for. And that P stands for park mode, which automatically comes on as soon as you turn the scooter on. If you hit the throttle, you got no juice. You have to hit the brake lever. And as I do, you'll see that go away. There we go. It takes it out of park mode. And now, oh geez. And now it wants to giddy up and go. Can't tell you how many times that I've had family over. They want to take the scooter for a ride. They turn it on. They bump the throttle and phew, my scooter has a nasty little fall and my relationship with my family's ruined. I'm down to like one sibling that I like now. Jill, that's you, who is also my editor. Did you ever know that you're my hero? The next upgrade they made and is my favorite thing they've done and is something that I think every scooter should have. And that is the split rims. And what that means is that the rim separates from the other side of the tire. It makes adding a new tube so much faster and easier. I have literally spent, literally spent hours trying to change a flat tire and it is a pain in the butt. If you guys have never done that, you should never do it. If you wanna check out how to do that, I did a short that was focusing on that and it took me 15 minutes to take that tire off and put it back on. The only other upgrade these guys did, they put a seven day sleep timer on it. And I'm not sure exactly what that does, but it just goes into sleep mode for seven days. Well, now I wanna dive into the advanced settings and show you how you can customize this. In the P menu on number two, that's where you can change the top speed. When you have it set to the highest speed, they say that you can get up to 31 miles per hour. I'm 180 pounds and I could only hit 30. In P level five, you can change the electric brakes. You can turn them on and off and you can change how powerful they are. And when you do that, you got a lot of stopping power between those and then also just your standard disc brakes. And then the last thing you can change has to deal with the acceleration. You can select a kick start or you can do a zero start. Woo -wee. That gives you a pretty good rush off the line. Now, one of the few things that I didn't like about this, oh, plug in my ear, thank you for that. And it's not the range, which is 46 miles. That's actually really good for the price of the scooter. It's how long it takes to charge. The 48 volt, 18.2 amp hour battery takes nine hours, nine hours to charge. It is like the slowest charger out of all the chargers in Chargeville. If it was a football player playing for the chargers, it would get cut. Now it does have a cool charge port cover. It's spring loaded, so water and crap can't get in there. I do like that. That was just one small thing that I didn't like about the scooter. Another thing that I do like about it is that it's very lightweight, 64 pounds, and can carry 230 pounds. I also like the size of the deck. It's like eight, nine inches wide. I also like the height of the handlebars. I'm 5'11", and got a slight bend to my arm when holding onto the grips. And speaking of the grips, super nice and comfortable. This has also got a sine wave controller, so you just have super smooth power delivery. And I like the way it sounds. Motors are just silent, and everything is locked in. There's three more things that I like. And the first is the ability to climb. This is a half block long, 23% grade. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's 15, 16, 17, and over the top. Woo! The second thing are the tires. You've got 10 by three inch CST tires. I'm actually super impressed with these because earlier on today, I went on a trail and picked up like 10 thorns. One there, one there, one there. It's like I just wanted to get a flat tire and I didn't. So those are punch resistant tires. And the third are the lights. You got a headlight, you got two turn signals. There's no indicator on the screen for the turn signals, which is crappy. You also have them in the rear. And then you got a horn. 
All right, so what I recommend, the Cabo Mantis X for around $1,300. Oh, that's a big heck yeah. There's not a lot that I don't like about the scooter. They got their scooters dialed in. If you wanna see a couple other scooters that I reviewed of theirs, I'll have them up here. So go check those out. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.